I think the diversity agenda is a double-edged sword. So it works well on the corporate side because it compels the company to look outward towards getting gender diversity in this case and, and doing that deliberately. So, so it, it, it's, it, that's the sort of good side of, 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 of the aspect. But you as a candidate, and I'm using this word because I don't have another word to use, but you as the candidate of the diversity agenda don't always um, have the, the full sort of uh, benefit of, of the directors who are seen to have come on merit, you know. So it's it's like it's like the it's like the, uh, the the additional points that government uh, used to give for 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 female students in order to correct uh, the you know the the uh, the skewed uh, admission uh, uh, you know statistics into university you know the famous was it one point you know one point zero or something the famous additional points i mean you 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 come in with a certain color so people think okay this this director has only come here to fulfill the diversity desire whether they will bring value or not is yet to be seen so you're working from a position of a negative you need to prove yourself because you know I think we just went out there looking for gender diversity we got someone who was willing and and that's it so it it it, it requires one to understand um, that they have to go a little bit above and beyond improving their worth over and above just creating better gender uh, a better gender picture for that board. So, just being conscious that your actual intrinsic value as a person must come through right from the beginning. Otherwise, the labeling, you know, will become will become synonymous with you. You know, you just be known as the person who's come to fit a certain profile and to you know to give us the benefit of saying we have some women on board. So it, 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 it creates an, an added burden for one to demonstrate their actual worth from the beginning. Now, it's, it's even more difficult when you're being asked to chair the board. So you're coming in, in fulfillment of a diversity agenda, and you're being asked to chair. <laughs> it can very, very quickly just be seen to be, you know, um, a, a, a box ticking thing. So the demonstration of value becomes a very, very important thing. People must start to look at you beyond your gender and say, and ultimately say, we needed a person of these qualifications, of this skill set, of this experience, because we can see a direct relationship between what they're bringing and the value of the decisions we're making with her input. So yes, it's, it's, it's a bit awkward. You come in as, 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 a, as, a, as a gender candidate and then you're fighting not to only be seen as a gender candidate. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but that's, that's really how it is, yeah. But, but there's absolutely no doubt that a diverse board makes better decisions just because of our, the, the various ways in which different people look at things. And, 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 and when you give yourself the benefit of that diversity, you're able to make richer decisions, yeah? But it's, it's unfortunate that because we are coming from a low base in terms of women on boards, 
the first thing that people see is just the gender diversity. You know, this person has come because she will fulfill the fact that we need some women on the board. So one would have to work very quickly beyond, you know, be beyond that first impression to actually bring the intended value to, to, to the decision making and to, and, and to board affairs.